it's joined the Tame Greater watching The Bad Batch season one episode two cut and run which is kind of what they've already done I am so excited to see what happens next I really really love the first episode a reminder that as always you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon two weeks in advance the edited version one week in advance and let's go oh this is a first inspecting every corner of the <laughs> ship while they tied her out are we gonna do with her our best we are coming up on cool she's never been in bright sunlight before maybe ever in sunlight it just wasn't that if Mina's always as rainy as it seems has she even been properly outside before some lovely childlike wonder <laughs> some of these things will be dangerous though my child so be careful use your wits Single trip wire. Ah, oh, you idiot. That's cute. Oh. It's been a while, fellas. Is he the guy we saw before in the Clone Wars who was a deserter? Or is that someone else? Regardless, I'm glad there are clones getting to have lives. Remember me? Uncle I hope they haven't brought. Oh, Crosshair knows about this place and these people. If they all know, this isn't good. Omega. Has she met children that weren't the other clones before? She's a good kid. <laughs> she looks to you. The Kaminoans don't create without a purpose. Mm -hmm. You all have one, so... We What's do need to learn hers. Battling droids was easy compared to raising a child. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea what you're in for. Well, two of you looking like you look in town is a bit obvious, isn't it? Troops should be pulling their forces, not securing a post. The war is over, the occupation's just beginning. Thanks to the generosity yeah. of the new Galactic Empire, the war is over. With peace comes opportunity. The oppression is only beginning. It's past defense. We'll get it later. Check! Don't go past the fence. I know you're curious. Don't do it. Omega. Got it. Omega. Things aren't always safe. Uh... I love this more. I just want this family to be safe as well as our Bad Batch family. What were you doing at? you could have been killed we've got to learn about Easy. parenting she's not a soldier the boy i didn't know they've got a lot to learn about how to take care of a kid hey kid you all right <laughs> take care be fine is he gonna think she should stay here with this family only learned of them moments ago but yes do it we're getting cut Sue and the kids on that shuttle. Technically, you all could do with a fake chain code. So if you're ever stopped and questioned and they don't immediately recognize you for what you are, you can present a chain code. That's who she was. It can be scary having all this change. Children will always find ways of getting into trouble, Hunter. It's what they do. <laughs> Protecting them is what we do. When you leave Salukamai, I want to make it a go with you. You two can give us something that... It's always what these want. men who aren't used to looking after kids do. Try and leave them with the first people they find. It's... I don't think it would be the worst thing for her, but I also it's don't ironic. think it's the best thing for her. Names instead of You're suggesting we call the authorities and have them seize our ship? <laughs> that is exactly what I am saying. It's a risky I move, but make sure Omega's not on it anymore. It just might. Is Omega still on board? I have this under control. There's one big problem. Omega's on the ship. Yes. You have to consider the child. I think it's a good plan, Tick. <laughs> so much for. Now, how can I help? By hiding. Enough action for the day. We'll handle this. It's not because you're not good enough. It's because you're yeah, not trained and you're a child. Scott. At this point, your best bet is to walk with purpose. If they see you running and jumping and being all stealthy, they'll know something's up. Whereas if you just, I mean, I suppose they're, they're not dressed in the appropriate attire, they could have stolen some and then just walk like they deserve to be there. I can slip through security unnoticed and deliver the discs to you momentarily. No. 
I mean, she might be able to do it. She's very capable. Be careful. No chance you're getting past all that. We can't get caught at all. What are you talking Omega's about? Omega's gone. We get tied up in a blaster fight. And where's Omega? Sneaking. Found her. Like the brave, reckless angel she is. The chain codes are en route. With Omega. By herself? She did Let it. Let her go by herself? Got a situation to face. Oof, yep. It distracted them for her, at least. Droid, be a friend. I mean, that poor droid never stood a chance. We could bring it with us and reprogram it. Right, must be in this hand. Oh, Rasha. No, something's wrong. She should have been here by now. Stick to the plan. It's his family. He's gonna panic. Stay strong. And I have the chain codes. Yeah, Omega. Tech accidentally made five discs and. She's not going with them. So you can leave with Cut and Sue. Why? To give you a normal life. Did I do something wrong? No. You need a family, kid. I want to stay with you. I know. It's for your own good. I kind of agree, but I also think she wants to be with them. I don't think for the plot Omega's going with the family. I don't think it would be the worst idea because she would get some kind of a normal life, but then she already has not had a normal life. She's expecting her to run off. We've got to go. Is not back. Rekka, she's not. Wait for me. Oh, baby. Oh, God. Children will find a way to get into danger and we protect them. She loves you guys. She recognized you, heard about stories about you probably before. Is there a problem? You look like. He should be like putting on a different voice. Thank God they got away. Like, he should have learned a fake voice to put on whenever he's in public. I didn't think we'd see that family again. I'm glad they're safe. <laughs> we have a droid. He just wanted what was best for you. And I have a lot to learn. But you don't have to get rid of me. That wasn't I let me know with you. This is where I want to be. Tell you the truth, kid. I guess I've got a lot to learn too. Mm -hmm. Parent, it is hard. If this is where you want to be, then this is where you'll stay. This is a family, and we will be there for you. Oh. Okay, Omega is a delightful addition to this show. Um, and I am already becoming really fond of this little group of characters and seeing the shenan shenanigans they get up to and I love that we visited the family of the deserter whose name I don't remember um that we definitely met in the Clone Wars and the idea that Rex also went to see him and Rex both I guess got some information from him and also warned him you know you need to get moving you need to stay safe um I think this I it really helps to remind us that this is a cohesive universe that all of these different stories and shows and movies that we see they are all taking place in the same world and the different events that take place are the same um so i did really enjoy revisiting them and seeing omega get to be a normal kid for a little bit seeing her get to touch the ground and feel the breeze on her face for the first time properly was very very special and I think perhaps some of her childlike wonder and innocence is going to really rub off on the rest of them and help them remember or learn for the first time maybe because they never got to experience any of those things that way either they were raised to be soldiers they didn't get a choice and um, it might be something that really helps this group of somewhat traumatized very skilled men <laughs> find a bit of that humanity within themselves as well that they've already proven they have a lot more than most of the empire people so that's something and again seeing the early days of the empire the seeing the way the empire just suddenly changes the way money works and changes the way id works and you are trapped where you are and you cannot leave that is the way this kind of fascist dictatorship type thing works and it is very scary you know if you get very reminiscent of other sort of stories of this sort of thing happening like the handmaid's tale where suddenly women can't have bank accounts and things like that you know what would you do if tomorrow you turned on the tv and the 
Bank of England, all the banks in England didn't exist anymore and the government was in control of everything, we would ha be powerless. And it kind of, I like seeing the way it happened for ordinary people through the lens of a family like the one we saw in this episode who needed to hide because they had something to hide, but also just ordinary people who are trying to get by for whatever reason. Um, and maybe have, maybe they like can't go along with the government's thing or maybe, you know, just in general, it's a scary time. Um, and I don't necessarily blame, I definitely don't blame anybody for just quietly existing under the Empire's occupation and trying to survive. I do have some blame for people who join the, like, Empire's armies and carry out atrocities and stay loyal. Um, but for the ordinary people, it is unbelievably terrifying and you can definitely see why something like, like the Rebellion would take a while to convince. But at the same time, that spark of hope is so necessary and so hard to put out. For all of their great proclamations, the war is over, everything's fine. They immediately act like an op op occupying force themselves, because of course they do. The Republic, if it had, I mean, the Republic kind of had died a long time ago at this point, but if the Republic had still existed, it would have been different, but that is not the case. So I liked seeing, again, some more of just the aftermath of the Clone Wars and what happened when the Empire first took control, what it was like for ordinary people. I liked revisiting characters we had seen before, getting a little hit hint of what Rex had been up to but also just seeing these men and how they are trying to adjust to the new normal to their new lives and learning how to hide learning about the way of the world and learning how to parent a precocious child who is going to wander off and get in danger every other second I really like Omega I'm excited to learn more about her more about why she's like what they did with her cloning why she's special or whatever but also to see her relationship with them I love the way she and Rekka kind of instantly formed that kind of like they were both just crashed napping on the floor because he does have that childlikeness to him but in general the way she looks to Hunter she really does look at him as he's the one that she bonded with um and you know they should have watched the Mandalorian and known that you don't just get to dump the kid off at the first nice family you've come across uh, this was a very very good episode of a show that I think is going to be really promising and I can't wait to see what happens next. A reminder that you can find the unedited version of this reaction on my Patreon two weeks in advance, the unedited version one week in advance, and thank you so much for watching.